Right, hello guys, Malcolm. Hopefully you can all hear me all okay. There's a little bit of wind here today. And there's a road at the far side over there. There's a road over there, so you might get some road noise. Now, I've seen a video on uh, YouTube the other day. Somebody done a hover test between the Mavic and the Evo. And it was clear that the Mavic was a, the clear winner. Uh, I think it was still about 5% ahead, even if the Evo had landed. So yes, the Mavic was ahead, definitely. It was definitely a clear winner in that test that was seen the other day on YouTube. But don't forget, then, that test was done by somebody without the app. The battery comes at default uh, set up at 16% for critical alarm. Whereas now we have the app, we're able to get in, access the parameters, and uh, turn the actual critical battery alarm down to 10%. So we're going to run the same test again. Hover test between the Mavic and between the Evo. I'm going to bring them up, let them sit, sort of, not side by side, but sort of just so you can see them. And uh, we'll just run, a, run my phone. Once we get them up to height, we'll let them sit. And then I'll start recording them. And uh, we'll see how long they can go for. And basically just a quick hover test. And we'll see if it's true that the Mavic is definitely uh, the clear winner in this now. So don't forget, we're still on an early version firmware. We're in the, we're fingers crossed at the minute here for the Evo that uh, Autel can get a firmware sort of, especially for the gimbal roll uh, the, on the horizon, you can see it, it's a bit of a, it's not the best to be honest with you. Uh, so that definitely needs addressed, and then if the battery issue is still a problem, well their 30 minute flight time is not going to be anywhere near 30 minutes, so they'll need to try and sort that problem out as well, which I'm sure better battery management and probably adjusting some of the settings under load would probably compensate for that. But anyway, let's get to I'll get set up here now and we will uh, get these things in the air and up and running. Just so you can see to prove it tell you anyway, the Evo, if you can see here. All four LEDs are on. We're fully charged, ready to go. Got the Mavic here as well. All fully charged, four bars, all ready to go. Both Machine's fully charged. The Mavic is sitting switched on ready to go. The Autel Evo is set up, set up, ready to go. And uh, basically my son Ben's here with me. Uh, whenever I say start props, we're both going to start the props. And then whenever I say take off, we're going to take off. So we're going to start the stopwatch. Once, only once we get them up to the height, we're going to start the stopwatch. And we'll just let them hover and we'll see. Right, we're both going to start the props at the same time. And then I'll tell him to go up and if he can follow my commands, he'll do what I say. Right, you ready? Ready, start props? Right. And then whenever we say come up, come up to this height here, okay? Just straight up. Hold you the controller button, right? After three, get up. One, two, three, go. Start a little higher. There. Come down. Put it there. Pull you forward a wee bit. Come up a wee bit. Come over, over, over this thing a bit. It's alright, it's not. Go forward a bit. Go forward. There. Stop there. Stay there. It's alright, don't touch it now. Oh crap, right. Start the top one. Dad's coming down. It's alright. Right, so we're started, they're hovering. You can Three. see them there. Three, two. Don't touch the camera. So you can see them go up and down a wee bit. So we'll just run the stopwatch. Right. And we'll see what happens. Three. Ah, sure, it's still You can see the Mavic seems to be coming down lower. Not see that, but we're up to uh, we're up to three minutes. As you can see there, the Mavic was dropping uh, 
it was dropped in altitude, so I had to bring it up a wee punch there. But it seems to be that the hotel seems to be maintaining, to my eyes at the minute standing here, maintaining a better hold. But we'll see, I'll not load till I speed this up and look at it better, close up, speed it up. <laughs> Can't still see it, I know, but we're up to five minutes. The Mavic keeps seeming to drop altitude by its own self. Don't get me wrong now, the Mavic is still a good wee tool. It appears the Autel is still a good wee tool, just needs some wee issues sorted. The Mavic's dropping height again. Dropped height a wee bit there. But it's not as bad as the Mavic. The hotel definitely holding a bit better position. The Mavic keeps sort of dropping down of its own accord. Maybe it's the sun. They're out in the bacon heats. Maybe the heat's going for the barometer, building a bit of hot air up inside. Maybe, which is causing the pressure to change inside the machines. Causing it to think the heat's off. Look. I did have to correct both of them there, ever so slightly. I have a funny feeling, it must be the sun, the sun's beating down there on them, it must be the heat affecting them. Both machines, as far as I can see, are flashing the third light, so they're on two and a half bars each battery. The hotel's easier to see because the LED indicator's on the back, the Mavic's on the top. Down to two bars. Thirteen and a half minutes. Both controllers are telling me both have 41% battery left. So I guess one, the hotel's just dropped down to 39. You probably not see it there, but down to 39. Mavic is also down to 39, 38. So they're much the muchness there on voltage rise, percentage rise. We're now at 16 minutes. You can't see yet. Phone this sun is terrible, but we're at 16 minutes there. The hotel's actually down to 30%. The Mavic's at 31%. Now up to 18 minutes and 22 seconds. 23%! 23%! We're coming up to 20 minutes. 19 minutes and 44 seconds. The low voltage alarm's going off on the Mavic. DJI Mavic's reading 15%, the Hotel's reading 14%, so they're both on par with each other at the minute. They both came down at exactly the same time there. Absolutely exactly the same time. Well, I can't I don't I can't remember which one came down first. I can't remember. It just sort of happened because I felt the controller in the I felt the controller in the uh hotel go and then the next thing was that one just came down. I think the Mavic came, I can't remember. 
<laughs> I can't remember which one came down. I'll need to check the video. So whatever you see nice seen <laughs> both of them. <laughs> there. It's a warm day out here now. It is warm. The temperature here at the minute, out in the country, it would swelter you anyway. It's about 26, well, 26, 27 degrees, something like that in the sun. The baking sun's coming down. So I'm sure the heat. Oh, aye, the batteries are warm. So the time here today is 17.49 now, so it's 10 to, 10 to 6, 21 minutes, 45 seconds, and 32 hundredths of a second. They both more or less were identical times there. Both, now that's with both the critical battery alarms, both now set to 10%. Once I was able to get the app uh, of the Play Store last night, and I was able to change the battery alarm on that, from 16, or the critical alarm from 16 down to 10. The way I have the Mavic, that's the way the Mavic's set up. Always have it set up like that. And uh, both of them, the low battery alarms at 20%. The, the Mavic alarm kicked in first. I didn't hear an alarm from that. There was no alarm from that. Just at the end, the way I had the controllers in my hand stand there waiting because I knew it was getting low. I got a buzz in that hand there, and it said landing, and as soon as I got a buzz in that hand there, the Mavic came down, I think that's what happened, I can't, I'll need to check this video, but you've seen it yourselves. <laughs> so there you go, whatever that was, that was, it wasn't like there was 5 minutes of difference, there wasn't 10 minutes of difference, there wasn't 3 minutes of difference, there was literally seconds of difference in that, for the both of them to come down, so you see, it's much of the much, you know, I've seen another video there showed big minutes apart. That's not minutes apart. Right guys, look, that was the test. I'll, uh, I'll write a wee review below in the description. So look at the description below to see my thoughts on it. And uh, if you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And follow us now for the next coming weeks anyway. They will try and do a bit more comparisons between the Mavic and the Evo. Already the Evo, I know for sure, has got a better camera. I've used it last night and the camera's far better than the Mavic. Although they have the same size sensor. That's got a far better lens, and it's, it's newer technology. Still a great wee machine, the wee Mavic. I have to give it to it, it's still a good machine. They are scalding hot. The fan in the Mavic. The Evo 2. The Evo as well has a fan in it, and it's still going as well. Right guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe there anyway if you want to look for a bit more information on the Evo over the next coming weeks here. We'll get a few more tests done with it hopefully, and we'll see what the big differences are, and we'll see if this new firmware. We'll see if the new firmware from Altair Robotics comes. Thanks guys, have a nice day, fly safe, enjoy yourselves, and uh, enjoy the lovely weather, especially if you're in the UK at the minute, the weather's brilliant. Right guys, get you all later. Bye bye for now. See you later. Bye bye.